Everyone is in quite the panic as Ruthless Season 3 returns to BET+. Tally has run off into the woods. No one has seen the freaky married couple. Daikon is bleeding out in the highest bedroom. And the car is running hot on Oliver and the girls as Lilo's body decomposes in the trunk. Andrew's voice could be heard throughout the compound gathering up soldiers while elder mother stumbled to the trailer so that she can get the boy out to get naked for the raccoon. <laughs> For what? Why is this boy taking his clothes off? Typically, when elder mother wants men to take their clothes off, it's for a total different reason. And look, this ain't even the worst part. Elder mother made him parade around the compound like a pet German shepherd. He had a chain around his neck and everything. She told him that she hopes that he's pure because he has to be a sacrifice for the raccoon, which means what? Now, I did not enjoy this young man running around the compound behind elder mother by any means, but I'm very curious to know how this is supposed to turn out and luckily they ran into somebody who had some sense Ruth but we'll get to that part in a minute because first Ruth had to nurse him back to health after Paula and Lacey freed him from the punishment cooler so as Oliver and the girls are making their great getaway the car started to run hot and Oliver told them to run up towards the house that's up on the hill and he's gonna hide in the tree and I'm assuming that Oliver is talking about the locals Dale's parents as they're the only other people that we see meanwhile Ruth is trying to find out what happened to River he told her that Daikon put him in the cooler. He thinks that Ruth left him there to rot because she knew that he was in there. Last season, Daikon caught River with the key to the finance trailer, so he had to be punished. She told River that he needs to get off the compound, and he said he's not going to leave until he quote unquote gets this one. Now, I really don't know what type of money he's talking about because Lilo is gone, so I'm not so sure if the cartel is going to be blessing the compound any longer. Money is really making everybody lose their mind on the compound. He told her that he'll deal with Daikon a little bit later and then he started ordering Ruth to go to the highest trailer to calm him down because if he's calm then everybody on the compound will calm down as well. Ruth told River that Joan gave Zane the finance book and River told her that Joan was crazy and she was trying to kill herself and at this point they looked out the window and saw elder mother with the boy following right behind her with the chain in between the both of them. So we found out that elder mother is taking the boy to the highest trailer to calm him down and this is quite sick. Ruth told her to let the boy go because if they're all about to go and see the raccoon then it really doesn't matter if the boy goes to see the highest or not the boy took off running and then elder mother tried to fight ruth <laughs> she told her that she was very disappointed in her and then she tried to slap her and fell out <laughs> That's what you get. That's what you get. She had no business trying to fight anybody. She's a little too fragile for all of that. And I understand Elder Mother is very upset because she's realizing that Ruth is coming up through the ranks and Ruth don't listen to a word that she says. But she did try to help her out. She called Zane over to help her back to her trailer. Then Ruth went up to the highest trailer where he was just moments away from beheading Daikon. She made her way in and started kicking that game to the highest talking about the little boy. <laughs> talking about the little boy inside of him needed a warrior and so all the while that she's got the highest at bay she's telling daikon to get up off the floor and to leave and what daikon brainwashed self said he said no and that he's not gonna leave the highest i'm done i am so done then the highest tried to throw it all on the table he told ruth that she was sleeping with him and with daikon ruth told him that she'd never do that and that she only slept with him because he's the highest she convinced daikon to find elder mother and joan to clean up that cut that's on his wrist and oh lord river ran into joan and she couldn't believe what she was seeing she thought that river died in the cooler and that she was seeing a ghost now wait didn't joan say that she was going to go to the raku last season when she passed over the books to zane i don't know maybe she just changed her mind now she's sitting there on the stairs with a purple rope saying that she didn't want to die by poison and she preferred to hang herself instead and thank god river got her to joke around a little bit and then soon after that he started talking about the money again and they both agreed agreed that they would get back to their post and to try and get back to the money. Dane got Elder Mother to the trailer and to calm her nerves, Elder Mother got a swig of that moonshine over there by the sewing table. Icon then came to the door and he told Elder Mother he needed her to help wrap his arm. Then she sent Zane to the kitchen to get some lotions and potions. She said to fetch another Elder Mother and Daikon also requested that she grab one of his men too. And y'all know that Elder Mother was clowning him, right? She even poked his scar because she knew it was going to hurt. 
hurt. Now that part was funny. Andrew and the crew made it to the place where Lilo's car stopped, but there was no sign of the girls or Oliver. But Andrew knows that Oliver is a sniper and that this was all a setup. So Manny sent someone from the other vehicle to test the water, so to speak. And sure enough, Oliver started shooting from the tree. Now they've got one man down. Then we see Daikon calling one of the soldiers and using them cell phones. <laughs> they use no cell phones like they're in the free world. Now, look, I don't know if y'all caught this, but Elder Mother cut the string that she used to suture Daikon's bloody arm with, with her teeth. Oh my gosh, that was so disgusting. Andrew explained to Daikon what was going on. He told Andrew that there was a farmhouse that everybody will go to every time they try to leave the compound and he's likely to find the girls there. He told Andrew to be able to back up everything that he says and to bring Oliver back to the compound. And Daikon knows that Andrew has bitten off more than what he can chew. Then we cut to Ruth and she finally got the highest to calm down. She got him all relaxed in a tub of that clear water. She even fixed up his lace front a little bit. <laughs> now the highest was ready to go and get that punch and let everybody go see the raku, but Ruth talked him out of it yet again. And Ruth was simply telling him everything that he wanted to know. When he say blue, she say red. He said apples, she said oranges. So she had a quick logical response to his madness. And what really got him to relax even more is when she said that the highest was like Jesus, the time when he was betrayed by Judas and she was laying it on thick, but it all worked out. Then Ruth even tried to protect Daikon and told the highest that he was only trying to protect him. He began to confide and Ruth telling her all about Lilo and that he was the only way that they got money to run through that compound because the compound is established as a church. So now he's going to have to struggle with what he's going to tell the cartel. Ruth told him that he's already come up with the plan. He just needs to think about it. Then they went back and forth with the different scenarios. So now he's relying on Ruth to pull through with the solution because she knows how he thinks. Now back to Elder Mother and Daikon. She's relishing in the fact that Daikon is in pain and that he needs her. She told Zane to get Daikon something for the pain and then Daikon began to question Zane and he wanted to know if she saw Ruth in with the highest before like this before all of this happened. Daikon is jealous and I think he's in love with Ruth but now they both know that Ruth is going between the both of them even though she denies it. Before Zane left she gave Elder Mother her moonshine and at first Elder Mother used to try and hide her pleasure for the happy juice but now she doesn't care who knows. I guess River talked Joan out of harming herself. They're talking about Ruth and how Joan doesn't trust her. They're back in their usual convo about the money and how to get it moved. River told her that the highest thinks that the next move is all his own when it's actually Ruth who's calling the shots and this would ultimately benefit all three of them. He told Joan that if she ever thought about checking out again to let him get the money first. How insensitive. In our final scene here, Paula and Lacey made it to Dale's parents' house and they actually broke the window to get in. They're looking for a phone to call the police, but they couldn't find it. Shortly after this, the locals pulled their weapons and told them not to move or they were going to blow them to Kingdom Come. Where is Kingdom Come, by the way? I hear people say that a lot. <laughs> But where is it? And for the record, Dale's parents are slick getting on my nerves. They see all of this activity taking place over the hill. They saw with their own eyes what Tally was up against. And they even talked to Daikon. And Lord knows who else. And more importantly, they know that the sheriff may be in on what's going on at the compound. But they still drawing guns, acting all frantic when they know who's at the door. I mean, who else is going to be coming up to their doorstep in a panic wearing a hot as purple robe? They sure as heck ain't selling no Girl Scout cookies. <laughs> If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. I'd really appreciate it. And if you're a Ruthless fan, go ahead and sub to this channel because I do video breakdowns like this all the time. Thank you so much for joining me on today's episode of Ruthless TV and I'll see you on the next one.